when it comes down to making a deep playoff run, it's not always the teams at the top of the standings that are built for it. Which Eastern Conference contenders do you believe are built for a deep playoff run? You know, when I think about it, I have to think about two aspects of teams that can potentially, because this is all hypothetical, let's just be honest. But as we stand right now looking at the standings and looking at the recent games, not the games that they played earlier in the season, these teams, I'm talking about the recent games. And as we close out the season, it has to be star, star power and reliable role players. Hear me when I say reliable role players. This is when we talk about how deep is, is the bench. I don't care who they have, but if they're not reliable, if these role players are not consistent and they don't have enough of them on their roster, going deep into the playoffs could be challenging for some of these teams. But I'm going to start with an obvious one. Let's just, we can start at the top of the Eastern Conference. The Milwaukee Bucks. Like, oh, oh, what? Yeah. you think I'm going to mention another team first? No, it's going to be the Milwaukee Bucks. <laughs> but what I what I like about them, yes, do they have star power? Absolutely. Come on, Giannis, Giannis alone, right? And then you got Drew Holiday, all-star this year, although I – didn't see it, but he did it anyway, right? And then Chris Middleton, you know, it's funny enough, when you think about Chris Middleton, he's coming off the bench right now. If he ever gets into any form, as he was when they won the championship, you think they're not going to be contenders and go deep into the playoffs? But let me tell you why I think the Milwaukee Bucks, another reason why I think the Milwaukee Bucks really have what it takes. Not only do they have core star players on their team, and, you know, you can say Giannis is a superstar, but their role, their role players are very consistent. Let's talk about it. Bobby Portis, he going to give you – you're going to get some rebounds from Bobby Portis. He's going to give it to you, right? They just acquired Jay Crowder. Now, if Jay Crowder can be anything he was when the Suns went to the finals, why wouldn't you want to have that off your bench? They just acquired a Goran Dragic. Now, I don't know what he's going to be able to give you, but he, gonna, he can be available. He can sit in and, and do some stuff for a couple of minutes on the floor. Th their bench is deep. Joe Ingles. Don't let his three ball start hitting, right? If he was, if he could become anything he was when he was in Utah, what, that's why they have him on a roster. It's the flexibility for me that I think that the Bucks have with their players, especially their role players, that makes them a formidable uh, contender when we're talking about how deep they can go and making it to the finals. So when people talk about ooh, the Milwaukee Bucks, yes, it is Giannis. Yes, it is Drew Holiday. It can still be Chris Middleton, mm -hmm. but everybody else. When they come through, it just makes them difficult to defend in a seven-game series because you don't know which matchup, which scheme uh, Coach Bud is going to bring bring to you. And that makes them difficult to um, defend. So I think that's where – that's why I see the Milwaukee Bucks being a contender to go deep in the East. Yes, I have the Bucks on my list as well. I mean, Giannis top five in scoring, Brooke Lopez top five in blocks. You mentioned the others. Yes, that is a key piece. You know, and they've been to the promised land before quite recently too, right? 2021 champs, you know, Coach Bud got that experience. I think they have a nice, healthy complement of role players yeah. and team chemistry because the core has been together for several seasons. Yeah. So yeah, the Bucks are definitely built for a deep playoff run. And they've shown that they can string together a 16-game winning streak. And I don't think they care who they face in the playoffs. No, I don't think they care who they face in the playoffs. And although that loss against the 76ers raised an eyebrow, it didn't concern me as much. Not for the Milwaukee Bucks, right? And it was what the 76ers needed, I think, for them. But again, we're talking about deep playoff runs, seven game series. You'll be playing these teams for, you know, potentially seven games. And I, I just think that the Bucks have the flexibility of on their roster to mm -hmm. really make in-game adjustments that can change up the system and scheme to fit any, any defense that a team brings to them. That's what I believe. Yes. Now, speaking of flexibility and the others, I think the Boston Celtics yes. are right along with the Milwaukee Bucks. Even though they allowed the biggest comeback this season, 28 points versus the uh, Brooklyn Nets, but they have a healthy complement of others. You got Malcolm Brogdon, a yep. potential six-man of the year. I mean, they have a perfect blend of offense, defense, and structure. Yep. They got the veteran presence of Al Horford. Mm -hmm. Plus, they have the team chemistry over the years, and I believe that any one or two players 
any one or two players can get hot and be a game changer. We'll be talking about Derek White. I mean, maybe Marcus Smart will be the one. You just never know. We know what Jason and Jalen or, or maybe one of them will bring any given game. And I believe my unpopular opinion is I think the two J's, they want to win the championship because they want to do it for Coach Udoka because his fingerprints are all over their game plan discipline. Oh, I don't, don't want to hear about it. Coach Missoula, no, it's it's Coach Udoka. His fingerprints are all over it. And, and let me tell you how powerful that is because I agree with you on that. So for me, it's not unpopular. It, it, it's, it's part of my – I believe it. It's because they recognize how successful it was. And they have not veered far from it. And Coach Missoula is reaping the benefits of it. Jay, the two Jays, they need it. They deserve it. They're consistent enough to get it. And I, I agree. I agree. I think that this would be one of the times that the NBA needs to send an honorary ring, <laughs> championship ring to somebody. And I think Coach Udoka deserves the foundation he set for this iteration of Boston Celtics. I agree. They were on my list as well. And then don't let Grant Williams get hot. Oh. You can be flexible with who you put in your game. That's what makes your team so so powerful to go deep into the playoffs. That is what I'm talking about. And if somebody, because somebody in one, in one seven game series, uh, shot is not going to be hidden. Some It's, it's going to happen. It's mm -hmm. going to happen. But what's so cool about both the Bucks and the um, Boston Celtics is that if their shot ain't hidden, they can lock you down on defense. It is that as well, right? So although you may not be, one person may not be getting, you know, double digits or whatever, you know, high 20s as they normally get, but they can lock you down on defense. Oh, so yeah. sometimes some teams, they have great offense, but their defense is lacking. And so when their shot is not hitting, they ain't got nothing to give. Mm -hmm. And I can't say that for the Bucks or the Celtics. So, yes, I think those two are amazing in the East, and I can see them going deep. So now I got one. <laughs> now this one right here snuck up on me. I ain't going to even lie. Oh. And it is unpopular, I know, and it's not who you think it is, the New York Knicks. Oh, shoot. I know, I know, I know, call me crazy, but they're number four or five in the East right now. Okay. Yeah, they're number five in the East right now. And if I think about it, talking about going deep, that Jalen Brunson as additional, he added something mm. to what the Knicks needed. He gave them, he gives them the spark that I think really helped ignite Julius Randle again. I think it did. You know, so <laughs> what they're right now on an eight game winning streak as we speak. Yeah, they Where they come from? Mm -hmm. How they how they go talking about starting from the bottom. Now they here, they number five as we speak in the um east. So if I think about it, they have also some flexibility, right? on their roster when we're talking about the depth, right? So they have Emmanuel quickly that can get you something. If he gets in the game, you need that. Um, and Isaiah Hartenstein, I'm quite sure the Clippers wish they would have kept him. What I'm saying is this. I, I, I get it. I could have said the 76ers, and that's fine. They're on top of the conference. I believe that as well. But I believe that the Knicks was a sneaker for me from what I'm seeing now. I cannot say that I saw the Knicks doing anything earlier in the season. So that's why I preface my – discussion about what they're doing now because now is what we will see as they move into the playoffs for them to be number five in the eastern conference blew me i'm, I'm blown away by it and so yeah i think they can potentially go deep and we'll see what they do Ooh, and plus josh hart on defense oh I my god that was josh a great pickup i'm telling you i'm telling mm. yes okay i do not have the new york knicks but i do have the cleveland cavaliers <gasps> Yeah, the Cavs have no weaknesses. They're top rated, top rated in defense with Mobley and Allen. They have an awesome backcourt with the two Ds, two Ds, Darius and Donovan, right? They have five unproven players like as a unit, and I think they're hungry for it. Great individual talent, great fan base. But let me tell you, I think eventually, though, I think they'll go deep. But how deep is the question? Because eventually they're going to run up against a team like the Bucks, like the Celtics, who have team chemistry and who have been together for several seasons and who have been to the mountaintop. And that's why I think the Cavs will go deep, but they're going to run up against a bigger monster. And that's going to end their run real quick. You know, let's identify what going deep means. When I think about going deep, for me, deep means conference finals. For me, what does deep mean for you? 
Yeah, conference finals, but you know what? If you get to the semis, game seven, that's fairly deep for me. Okay, okay. Because deep can mean – and I, the reason why I – I had I thought about the Cavaliers because I really like the Cavaliers. I mean, I am in favor of the Cavaliers. I just said the Knicks snuck up on me. But one of the things about the Cavaliers that concern me is the inconsistency in their role players. That's the only reason why. When I think about Karis LeVert, when I think about Ricky Rubio, will you show up? Will you show up? And if you do, oh my gosh, amazing. But when you don't, then the Cavs can sometimes struggle, right? Although they may get the win, it can be struggle. So when we're talking about a seven-game series, will that be enough? And that's the only reason why I didn't put them on my list is because I think that their role players are not always reliable. And from that point only is why I said the Knicks in, in my third option. So, yeah. Yeah, but Ooh. again, the Cavaliers, I'm here for them, and I hope they can do all that because I believe those names that you mentioned, they're starting five excuse me, starting four can get it done, right? But it's not going to be enough when we're talking about going deep, right? In these games that will be seven that they have to kind of contend with in order to go to the next level, I just don't know if their role players, especially those coming off the bench, is reliable enough for me.